Wednesday Good Love. Kinichiwa! My name is Senpai777 and welcome to another Wednesday book vlog. Now uh, I have a couple of announcements to make. One is I got my trusty mic set up. It was an expensive one. I'll probably have to get a better sounding mic, but it's definitely an improvement from this laptop mic, so there we go. Second announcement is that you might have been following my Twitter and you might have seen this already but I just like to you know let you guys know those that you might have not seen it on Twitter that um, from here to 500 subs I will be doing a shout out competition giveaway where I will have a video dedicated to the winner showing their channel on the video debuting it um, providing links to their YouTube and all their social medias and this will be happening every 50 subs so the first time will be 50 subs I will make the announcement you guys will enter and then the winner will have video made for them um, and this will be every 50 subs until 500 where the big giveaway will be I'll be giving three games away for the three random people that are picked so if you could be awesome and share, retweet, send it to your friends, send it to anyone you might have on social media, let everyone know because I'm benefiting you guys and you're benefiting me and that would be totally awesome if you could do that. But yeah, I will have three games at 500 that will be given away. There will be awesome, awesome games. It won't be like the $2 giveaway such things it'll be like stuff like dark souls but not not dark souls but games like that i'm sure you'll like them the third announcement is i will be doing a riddle every wednesday book vlog the riddle will be posted in a description so it will be right at the top so you can just read the riddle and you can tweet at me at twitter at hashtag senpai777 riddle it'll be all lowercase just tweet at me senpai777 riddle the answer that you think it is and whoever wins will get a shout out on the Wednesday book vlog so all I asked is you only provide one answer because you know everyone else has to enter but whoever gets the right answer will have a shout out on Wednesday book vlog and that's the end of the announcements let's get to the book vlog the first book that we are going to go over today is a standalone novel. It is part of a small series, but I would consider it a standalone. It's called Sword Quest by Nancy Yi Fan. Um, pardon me if I mispronounced that wrong. I probably totally did. But um, really unique thing about this book, it's really thin but there's a lot of action in this a lot of story a lot of lore um, and believe it or not it was written at the time by a 12 year old but yeah this book is really awesome you know and it's about birds um, it's like they have this little kingdom and it's about this half dove bird called Windsong and he has to save the world but he doesn't know it he doesn't know that he's chosen to fulfill this prophecy to save all the birds from the uh, evil rule of the crows and the uh i think it was the falcons archaeopteryx there was a, like evil race of birds that controlled the land and would enslave birds to do their bidding and he was enslaved himself and comes to realize that he's part of this prophecy to save all these birds from this tyranny so he goes on a quest to find this sword and the sword is not like you know a normal one it's like he has to find himself he has to solve all these tests it's a really awesome book you could definitely check it out i really enjoyed it and i've kept it all these years I've I think it came out let's see what year it came out actually um, it came out in 2008 so I've had this book for 10 years but it's a really awesome book and 
you should definitely check it out. It's Sword Quest by Nancy Yi Fan. I probably mispronounced that again. The next one is the Heroes of Olympus series. Now, you might know about this book series because of the series Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Well, I do have that book series, but I really wanted to talk about this one because I think the first series is kind of like the author coming into his own and figuring things out. And his writing style was a little eh at, uh, at times, but it definitely picked up at the end of the series. But I really like this series because it's more action packed, it's more, um, the writing style is more cleaner, it's uh, more put together, the ideas are formed better, um, there's no discrepancies, there's no none of that. And it's basically a series after the first series where they thought that they uh, had beat the god Kronos. And I won't say if they did or not because, you know, it's spoilers if you haven't read the first series. But this series takes place afterwards where he fulfills the prophecy but then it uh, leads to another disaster called the Titans and the Giants. Well... Actually, the first series was about the Titans. The second series is about the Giants. The Giants came first before the Titans. So it's like Giants, Titans, Gods. So this is about the Giants and how uh, Gaia, the mother of the earth or the god of the earth or whatever, wants to destroy it. And if she wakes up, she will destroy everything, enslave the demigods. There will be no such thing as death. Uh, all the demons would run free and it's about Percy Jackson and a couple of new heroes that was not in the first series is introduced and they have all these you know curses or uh, blessings that they use their advantage to try to stop this giant uprising and to keep Gaia asleep from rising to destroy the earth and the underworld so I thought it was a really awesome series. The series, I believe, is done. The last book was called The Blood of the Olympus. Blood of Olympus. The Blood of the Olympus. Something like that. Um, and it was a really awesome conclusion. You should definitely check the series out if you like stuff like that. Where it's like mythology, gods, and such. But this is my favorite cover. The Sun and Neptune. I think it's really awesome. But all the covers are awesome. I got all hardback because I just like the covers. I didn't like the paper ones. So, yeah, you should definitely check that out. The Heroes of Olympus. The next one is a series tying into a previous Wednesday book vlog where I talked about the Mortal Instruments. Well, this series takes place after the Mortal Instruments is finished. And this series is about a family who is uh, tied to one of the characters in the first series, the Mortal Instruments. It's their family that they didn't know that they had, and they find them in the last book. You know, I won't say much because spoilers. But this is about that particular family and what they go through. And there's this uh, evil uh, warlock who wants to um, uh raise up one of his loved ones and by doing that he has to kill uh certain shadow hunters he has to kill certain uh uh underworld people and they try to stop him and it's actually still ongoing um i don't know if this is just going to be a trilogy or actual you know ongoing series there's about three books out right now but it's really awesome. I really love the cover art. You'll probably see it across the screen. But this is my favorite cover by them. The series is called The Dark Artifices. And the title is Lady Midnight. It's by Cassandra Clare. You might already know that from my first Wednesday book vlog. But it's a really awesome series. Um, and I really enjoy it. I love this world that Cass Cassie Clare, as she's nicknamed, has made. I mean, this book series, I mean, while it is a huge read to go through, it's very rewarding. Uh, there's many twists and turns you don't expect. 
they introduce a lot of things that make the story interesting and always you know lead you on to say what's gonna happen next I gotta know I gotta know and the next thing you know you're reading chapter after chapter after chapter and you're staying up all night and then, and then you're late to your job and, and well anyway and <laughs> it's a really awesome book series you should check it out well that concludes the end of this book Wednesday book vlog you might be wondering why is there five well I decided to shorten the books down to three so I could talk a little bit more about them but also so we could extend this Wednesday book vlog because you guys said that you were enjoying this a lot so I decided well considering I'm mostly talking about a single book from a single series it wouldn't do much good to talk about every single book in this series because then it would give away too much of the series if you want to read it yourself so that's why I only explain about the series and I only choose one book so that really cuts down on how many I actually have and it would make the series short so I decided to only do three books so it would keep you guys you know coming back for more Wednesday book vlogs and maybe make the video series a little bit longer so yeah check out the riddle in the description make sure you uh, tweet at me at hashtag senpai777 riddle all lowercase tweet at me your answer let me know to only tweet once so everyone gets a chance and also you know retweet share you know get people to sub so I can actually do a shout out for you guys and we can get to 500 and I could do a game giveaway um, and I really have a lot of plans for after 500 I think you guys are really gonna like but I'm not gonna tell you until we get there so yeah leave a like on the video if you enjoyed Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next week, Wednesday Book Vlog. Bye-bye.